Hello everyone, it's Dezima here, back again with another one of his vlogs. I'm going to be doing it every week now, because it was pretty popular last week and people seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep doing them every week on Monday, as long as people keep enjoying them. So, with that being said, today I'm playing some Assassin's Creed Revelations, because that's the game that I picked up earlier this week, and that's just what I'm into right now, so try not to worry too much about that. As far as what's coming this week for my channel, don't freak out on Tuesday when you see like hour-long Skyrim Dawn Guard videos up, because that's what I'm going to be doing that this week. I'm going to be doing a Skyrim Dawn Guard walkthrough let's play along with the regular upload schedule. And if you don't know, I do have a regular upload schedule. I upload every Monday a vlog, every Tuesday a commentary, every Thursday a let's play, and every Saturday is a quick fire. That's every week I try to do that, pretty much do it without fail. Except this week is a special circumstance because Dawn Guard is coming out, so I'm probably going to be uploading a lot of those throughout the week, and they're probably going to be like an hour or so long a piece, depending on how long the whole game is, which is apparently pretty long, so get ready for that. As far as that's out of the way, now that we're done with that, I want to institute a new kind of award, I guess you could call it. It's going to be called the Comment of the Week. I'm going to be doing it every week on this video. Comment of the Week, this week goes to Chill as a Moose. Check it out, read it here. It's a pretty interesting comment. Definitely worthy of Comment of the Week this week. So if you guys want to compete for Comment of the Week, you gotta got to get up to snuff with this guy right here. Now, as you can see, I have these little nice little flashcards to give me all my stuff to tell me what I need to know and what I need to say. First off, I want to talk about this new word, new buzzword that came out this week. Credit goes to the City Slicker NP for coming up with it. It's called Stasmonian, which is a word to describe someone who is a Stazima follower. So Stasmonian, S-T-A-Z-M-O-N-I-A-N-S. -I, I think I spelled that right. Stasmonian, a, st a follower of Stazima. That's pretty clever, I thought, so I figured I'm going to institute that a lot more now. And... Interestingly enough, with the last video I did, a lot of people had some funny ideas for what I apparently looked like if they had never seen my face before with the last video. So here's some of the comments that I got that people thought I looked like before they saw the video. They thought I was super duper tall. They thought I had a beard. A few people thought that I was black, which is very flattering. Uh, apparently I, people thought that I, looked like, I would look like a stoner. And another person thought that I would be totally ripped and jacked, which is flattering once again. And then a lot of people said, I look nothing like my voice. So, I'm sure a lot of people get that. But anyway, I asked last week for some Q&A. So, you guys wanted me to talk about stuff. So, I could do a little back and forth action with you guys. And the first question I got was, well, what music do I listen to? And that's a very good question because I listen to pretty much any kind of music I can get my hands on. I love jazz, rock, alternative, pop, electric. Right now, I'm going through a house music, electric dubstep kind of binge right now. I'm really into that kind of stuff right now. But I still listen to jazz on the side and I also listen to some rock. Uh, yeah, I recently got into uh, Young the Giant. I like them a lot. And also one of my new favorite electronic artists, Madeon. He's coming out with a lot of great mixes and stuff like that. He's one of my favorites. Along with people like Swedish House Mafia. I do kind of like Skrillex just a little bit. As far as rap goes, I, I'm not really a hardcore kind of rap guy, but I have enjoyed a few rap tracks like here and there. I haven't, can't really say that I enjoy full rap albums, or I can say this for pretty much any kind of music I listen to. I don't really like to listen to entire albums of music. I like to pick and choose the singles that I like from a million different kinds of genres of music. So I, I listen to pretty much anything I can get my hands on. I listen to hardcore, stuff like that sometimes. I was into hardcore a little a little while ago, not too much right now. Right now, still in the house music. I've been into house music for about seven or eight months now. I've been in that scene. It's great. I love it. It's really fast-paced and moving, and a lot of songs come out really quickly because the production times aren't too long on those, so there's a lot, always new stuff coming out, which is one of the big things that I enjoy about listening to house music and stuff like that. Next question, someone asked if I had an accent, and I do have an accent. I have a, a Philadelphian accent because I do live closer to Philadelphia, but I also have kind of like an Eastern Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh accent, and that's kind of what you hear when I talk. That's the kind of accent, sort of, I, they kind of get, it's like a mix between Philadelphia and Eastern Pennsylvania, so that's the kind of accent that I, you normally hear me talk in. Another question that I got is, let's see, someone asked me to talk about beach balls, which is a very interesting question. I like some of these like random hardcore questions that ask me to, you know, like talk about beach balls. That's very interesting, but 
very creative. I like those ones. So beach balls, I prefer the, 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 not the huge ones that you see at like concerts that people come and blow up and they throw around like gigantic, huge ones. I like, I like the, the medium sized ones that you can like hit around, you know, but the small ones not doing it for me. The small ones are pretty wimpy. They have to be like a good, uh, general size beach ball. And they also have to be well inflated, almost overflated. If you can't have a beach ball sag, that's pretty lame. Don't want a, a sagging beach ball. That's one thing that I've learned throughout the years is that, that that's never good. Another good question that I got is what do I want to do with my life? As in what kind of career path do I want to go into? And this will tie nicely into another question I have later. But mainly what I want to do is I want to be a computer science. I want to go into college and get a computer science degree. I'm really into computers and stuff like that. And that's actually one of the next questions is one of the hobbies I have. What are some of my hobbies? And that's foremost one of them is programming. And whenever I'm in uh, school, whenever I'm in class, I'll like program on my little calculator. And then when I go home, I'll program on the computer. Java, Python, those kinds of languages I really enjoy. Those are the kinds I really work with right now. And I'm just trying to get good at those. So get some good experience. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. Who knows what I'll make one day? Maybe a game if I'm lucky. I don't know. I don't know what I'm into. I'm just, just gonna keep going. And also, as far as other hobbies that I have, obviously this is a big one that you're listening to right now. Commentating is probably one of my biggest hobbies. It's become one of my biggest hobbies in the last year that I've been doing it. It's a lot of fun. I like doing it. I'm gonna keep doing this hobby. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Another hobby that I have stems off of my love of house music and electronic music is that I like DJing. I actually have a few things behind me. If I, ah, I got this baby here. This would be a Ableton Novation launch pad. This is one of the things I use to make music. I use this to produce music mostly. I also use it and I route it to do special effects and things like that in Ableton or, or uh, Tractor, things like that. The other thing I have is a Newmark Mixtrack Pro. This is pretty much like, this is like simple for like beginners kind of this isn't like hardcore equipment like the pros and stuff like that have but this is just kind of for me to play around with to mess around with as a hobby of mine i like to just mix songs together make mixes stuff like that that's a big hobby of mine that i really enjoy doing as far as what i do with this i don't really go out and dj parties a lot but i am in kind of like a band with the djing i have a, a band i'm not i'm kind of in, in the band but i mean it doesn't really make sense because you can't really have a dj in the band I mean, I use this to like put like a uh, to play like a few notes, but I'm not really in the band that much. I don't really do much. I'm just there to look good because like you know you, you have the headphones and you like spin it even though nothing's happening. So I'd stand there and I look good. That's pretty much one of my biggest jobs, and that's that's a couple of my hobbies. I have a lot of them. Let's see some other questions I got is if I could oh this is a good one creative one I like these ones if I could have a single superpower which one would I have now if I could have a single Whatever superpower I want, not including being able to make your own superpowers, I would probably choose being able to freeze time, to be able to control time, you know, freeze and go. Not go back and forwards because that is a separate superpower altogether. That would make two superpowers going forward and backwards. That's two superpowers. Just freezing time is a single superpower and that would be a sweet one just think about that you can just freeze time and then do whatever you want you can like go and read all the books in the world and then unfreeze time i'm not really sure how the mechanics of that would work though i mean do you age when you freeze time are, are you the one still aging but everyone else is staying still so could you read all the books that you want i mean i don't really know but i mean s s put into that single uh superpower that you uh freeze time you could also make that tra teleportation because if you freeze time walk somewhere else unfreeze time that's pretty much teleportation so that's a kind of a two for one right there without cheating right there okay um if, oh whoa, whoa, what was that one if i was going to die if i could choose which way i was going to die of not old age how would i choose to go if I was gonna choose the way I would die, I'll probably make it be like a huge fiery explosion. Like I was in like a car and then like my car like exploded and then like I went over a cliff and then the car exploded again while I was going over the cliff, but I managed to like jump out of the car and I was like hanging on the cliff with my, my hand and then like there was a huge crowd of people there and I just like fall down into like a gigantic like, like a crater like an abyss with like lava underneath and I like fall in and there's like huge like volcanic eruption. That's probably the way we want to go. I'd make, one, maybe make it big and flashy so it'd be like on the news. Like, man jumps out of car, falls into a gigantic lava pit, and everything explodes. Let's see, other questions that I got here. Another question, okay. Let's see, this, this will be the last one that I do because I'm running out of time, unfortunately. 
Uh, do I play any sports? And I do play a few sports in my free time than I do actually play a real sport. So in my free time, I I'll, I'll, like, play soccer, which is football in European. I prefer to call it football, actually. That's the way I, I prefer to call it. I also play frisbee. Ultimate frisbee is a really fun sport. That's really fun. But I also do track and field. That's the main sport that I actually do. And I'm actually captain of the track and field team I'm at my school. So I do sprinting, 100 meters, 200 meters, and the 4 by one those are the main the main sports that I do. That's the that's the main sport. My main my main thing. Well guys, that's all the questions that I have. Not really, I do have a couple more, but don't really have time to get to them. I really enjoy the creative ones that put me in different scenarios and I have to like fight my way out of those ones. Those are pretty fun. And I also like these regular ones too. They're they're very, very nice to do. That's all the time I have for this time. This vlog guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Or I'll see you tomorrow, actually. Stazima out.